So I'm done with the water now. Um, I've got my cups ready to go for to transplant these lavender. Um, so as you can see, I've got these lavender from uh, Fog uh, Fogger Hills. Fog Hills. Um, they were on special offer. I think I paid uh, about seven pounds for for forty. And this is how they've come. They've come in a nice little tray. Um, I'll take them out straight away as soon as I've gotten them. And they come little uh, little little transplantable pots there. So. There's 40 lavender all together. Nice little plants. I'm pleased with them. I am. I'm pleased with the way they've probably come. Just put a bit of water on the bottom because I knew I wasn't going to get to them for a couple of days. It's quite a very, very handy little thing that. Um, so next up, what's next stage I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them into the little cups here. So I've got 40 of these cups, which equivalent to two, two of these uh, mushroom trays. And I've made a little space for them um, next door in the greenhouse until they're a little bit bigger and I'll pop them outside. So I've already made a start, as you can see, with the compost and things. So I'm just going to crack on and get these done now. So as if by magic again. Done. So there's the first 20 done. I'm going to get crack on and get the other ones done. But they've just, they've, uh, they've transplanted really nicely, really nicely. So I'm going to get cracked on and put the rest in, then uh, I've got another job which I need to get done. Forgetting it, but I know I've got another job I need to get done, so I'm going to get that, I'm going to remember that and I'm going to get that done as well. So I'll catch it once I'm getting this sorted out. So I'll just show you, uh, there's the 40 plug plants I'm getting, and they're all in the little cups now, so they'll stay in there. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put uh, a few of them on the flower bed next door. So I'm going to get that sorted here when they get a bit bigger and that's where, that's, that's where they're going. Yeah, well, I've been shopping this morning um, I've picked up a couple of things including this handy little new tripod so a new angle <laughs> um, So what I've been picked up is I've picked a few flowers up for next year I've also picked up a couple of these from the pong shop a couple of sprayers and I'm going to need a few for a different ones so I've got water in here at the moment I need one for my rhubarb spray I need one for um, the thrip uh, the Dynamec uh, and uh, just one for water for when a tiny for when it comes soon, so I'm going to have to go and buy another one because the, the old spray that I had was broken. So that's what I've gotten for them. Um, I've got a little tripod as well. That was for a pound from the pound shop. That's, be, that's going to come in handy for um, taking home and stuff. Um, is there anything else there which I've gotten? No, them, uh, the begonias, the gladiola, and also these little things here. Now, I've got a plan with these, so as you can see I've been to Morrison's, handy little yellow sticker, I mean these were £1.50, they're trailing geraniums for hanging baskets, so my thinking behind these were if I get a pack, um, even though they were one fifty, I know shot were £2, £2 originally, so I've only saved 50 pence, um, I can take cuttings from these for my baskets for next year, uh, offer plants for next year for the trailing geraniums, so that's the plan for them ones. I've also picked up these ones as well. Now, the wife um, said that she didn't really like the red, deep, the, the bright red uh, geraniums that I've got in the back garden. So what I've been doing is, I've been down and when I spotted these ones they were on offer, um, the geranium plants. So once again, only one pound 30 each. I mean, I know that's a, that's, that's a lot, because uh, you can sow your own seed and things like that, which I have done, but um, I know they're pink ones. So I can take cuttings from them when when I need to. So there's pink ones there, so there's a light pink there. There's also a darker pink one there as well. So I'll be taking them, they're good growth on them as well. To be honest, I could probably take cuttings from them now. I might do. Um, so I've got that one as well. I've got another another pink one as well. So just 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 uh, so I can get plenty of cuttings at all. So I've got two pink ones and a deep pink one. So I'll just uh, leave these in here. And I've also picked this one up as well. Now I paid full price for this one. This geranium. Um, it's a coloured leaf geranium. I don't know the, the once again the, the flowers are gonna be pink, but it's a different colour on the on the leaves and I thought it just stood out a bit with the foliage as well. Because to be quite honest, I'm starting to appreciate more when I look at the the flowers and stuff like that, the different leaves and the foliage and I've been looking at the hostas and things as well. And uh, I'm tempted to, to get a couple put in pots. Um because I, I walked past uh, the school to get here and uh, a couple of new houses I've noticed in there 
they've got a, they've got a couple of nice ones on the, I think they're white feather ones, white feather hostas. Um, so I'm going to look into them as well. So I might uh, I might put some of them in the garden. But let's like say always a plan of action. So I picked up some new geraniums this morning. Um, with the the thought of taking cuttings from them for free plants. <laughs> so that's what else I've picked up. Now you can see on the behind here, um, I've got my garlic. Uh, well, I lifted early. That's um. That's going to be drying off in here, I'll stay in the greenhouse. And uh, I've started filling up this back section here. I've still got these tomatoes which I need to get sold. Um, I've got my Shirley tomato which is in here on the first truss. Everything's going to start getting watered down now. I've been outside and I've um, pulled off all of the, the dead pears um, that I showed you last week. Um, so I've, I've nicked all of them off and they're going to get burned. Um, I've given everything a spray uh, in here as well. Uh, these dahlias will be going outside. In the next couple of days, um, so they can start hard enough. In fact, the fact they're going to go outside today, because ideally I want to get them put outside on Wednesday. You know, I normally should I should keep these outside for at least a week, but I'll harden them off. Um, but we've had all right weather, so I'm going to pop them in. In any case, um, on Wednesday or Thursday, when I'm off again, I've got the dealers down the bottom there as well. So all the dealers I've got will be going in. I've been next door and I've just put some more uh, the, glad the gladiola in. Um, I've got, I've still got these, uh, these peacock orchids, which are like lilies. Uh, they're going in as well. So, so I'll go. I'm going to find something else to do now, and I'm going to get cracked on. Morning, guys. Tuesday. <clears throat> I've um, I'm down in the pot. I've only got a couple of hours to start with. Eleven, so um, a half eleven. So I've got to uh, get still, uh, quickly get some stuff sorted out. So what I've decided to do this morning so far is I've started taking the cuttings from the geraniums that I bought yesterday. So all I'm doing is, just to show you, I'm getting me little, I'm only taking a few off this one. So I've got me little uh, four cell seed tray, dump in the top. Now ideally, I like some root and hormone, but I don't have any. Here, in the garden, so I'm having to just put them in and see hopefully for hopefully the best. So all I'm doing is from from the geranium. So I'm having a look to see where the best pot place to take the cutting material from. So there's one right down the bottom here, so I can nip that down the bottom. So I can just nip this one here. So I've got my knife. Try this one hand. Just slice that off at an angle. And once that's done. I'm going to remove the bottom, the bottom leaf, and just place it in the, place in the soil. I don't think that's a very good cutting, that one, but we'll get a chance. So there's another one on the side here. So you can see here, on the side this one here, I'm going to take that as a cutting. So just want to be careful. Right on the side, down. You can see I've cut it at an angle. I'm going to remove the little flowers off there because I don't need flowers, I need them to produce roots. Take the leaf off closest to the ground, closest to the cut, sorry. And just, you know, dip it in a bit of root and hormone and pop it in the water, some of the soil. So look for another one. That's a big one there, so I'll just take it just below there. So there's more flowers on there, so I'm going to get rid of those. So there's another little cutting. That's got a better chance, that one. And one more, because I'm not taking too many off this one. This will also help promote the plant to produce more as well. I'll just take it off there. I had an issue last time round when I took cuttings, because it didn't really... Uh, I had boitrous, which is the grey mould, but I know that because uh, I've learned my lessons from it. So I'll go always keep a nice airflow through the greenhouses and things. So I'll just pop that into there. Get me handy little marker. Geranium, coloured leaf. And hopefully, in around about three weeks' time, these should start producing, they uh, should have roots on them. And uh, so let's uh, mark them. Geranium. Uh, 
Blood Leaf. And they are going to go up, out of the way, and watered, keep them. So I'll show you at the top there. So at the top here, what well, I've got, I've got the cuttings. So I've got the dark pink ones, I've got the coloured leaf, and I've also got 10 pink cuttings as well. So let's we'll see how they get on over the coming weeks. I've just uh, I've just had a look at the bottom. I've pulled the bucket out and have a look underneath to see if there's any roots shown at the bottom. And there is shown, roots shown at the bottom of the buckets. So before I start skewing these up and staking them up properly, making the hoops, I'm going to start transferring these uh, these giant giant onions. So you can see there. So I'm going to start transferring these into the bed itself. So all I'm going to do. So I've got my charge, Eco Thrive charge, I've got my mycorrhizal fungi. I'm going to spray a bit in the hole and get sorted with that. So I'll quickly get these done, then I'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll sort these out. Right, time to get this here, uh, time to get this out of the bucket. Now, it's probably going to be a bit of a messy job, this, but uh, let's see, I've already tapped around the sides and things. Bucket just to cover it up, I'll try not to damage anything. Ooh, smells like onion. So just slide this out. Find some for that bucket. You can see the root on there, that's a good sight. Bait. Get rid of this soil from underneath. On that side, that on that side, that on that side, and there we have it. Transplanted into the ground. Now I've just got another seven more to do. So I'm going to get cracked on with these now. Well, I've run out of time. It's time to go to work. Time flies when you're having fun. I haven't been able to get them uh, them support started yet, but I'll get them sorted tomorrow morning. Um, I've just got another one, two. I've got another three onions to put in. So at the minute, I've got the I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six six giant onions in, um, and I just need to get uh, the last three in here. So the big one there, this one here and that one there, so I just need to get them in and I'll do the supports tomorrow. Um, I've also got some calendula which I want to put in here as well. So hopefully get them sorted. But I'll show you the, uh, my attempt to try and get these um, these supports for these onions sorted tomorrow. So uh, I'll, catch you, I'll catch you then. Morning, Wednesday, and I've come back down to get this sorted out, the onions. So I'm going to put the rest of the onions in. Um, I've got another four, uh, three to put in, then um, once that's done I'm going to go up and get some more blue cover with uh, John from down the road there, uh, the allotment. So we're going to go down there and I'm going to pop up and see uh, see John as well, um, John Craig up in Ashton. So I'll, uh, I'll, once I've gotten this sorted out, I'll see you once, uh, once I've gotten that blue cover. Excuse the mess, I've still got to tidy up. Um, so I've done a couple of these, oops, um, so what I've used is some garden hose that I had spare. I've, what I've done is I've gotten the garden hose, I've measured it around the top of the bucket, so it goes all the way around, so I've got a circumference. I've gotten two canes, I've tied it up with a bit of tape, and then what I've done is, before I've tied it up, I've put it along around the bottom, lifted it up, tied it at the side, then secured it with some cable ties at the side there. So that's the supports done. These probably could have been done a little while ago, but uh, never mind. Um, so I've gotten two done. Uh, I've got to shoot off now, but uh, the next, well, hopefully I get the rest of them done when I come back. So I'll see you when I get back. 
So I'm just getting back and I've just brought up some goodies. So brand new pool covering, all free of charge. But I can't tell you where. <laughs> but um, I've got all of this to go with, so I've got plenty of things to be getting covered. So I've got all new holes and stuff cut in, so that's going to be a job for another day. I have getting some of the white topping as well, with the thought of the light reflecting back off the top, just like the black and white plastic. So I'll give that a go and see how things go with that as well. But I've got to go, and go put this all in the garden and get it all stored, and I've got to shut off and put, take little Kyle to school. Onion support are done. So now we can see underneath. I've got a you know, Peter Clay's book one in there to replace the one that uh, that failed. Um, the heavy onion that failed. That's I think this is the biggest one I've got so far. Um, I did actually measure it earlier on, and it was measuring at uh, twelve inches around. Um, I don't know if I've got me tape measure my pocket or not. Um, no, I don't, but it was measuring 12 inches around. I'll stick a picture of that up on Facebook. Um, so we've got uh, two, four, six, I've got eight. Eight left out of 12 of the heavy onions. They're all starting to pick up now. So for comparison, I'll see if I can grab some things just to show you. So I've got here, there's a paint cup, one of the plastic ones. So you can see it's bigger than the paint cup. It's got a long neck on it as well after. I'm looking forward to these. I'm really excited with these. I know they're, it's only 12 inches around, but literally that's the biggest onion I've ever grown. And it's not even ready yet. It's still got a few months left to go, that. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how all of these go now that they're in the ground. They've been fed. They've got some more mycorrhizal fungi on the bottom. And uh, the bottoms have been uh, dug up so the roots can go and find more water. So now when I put the soaker hose on, these will all be getting uh, watered off the soaker hose. So, see how these go on in the next couple of months, but that's them done. So like I said, the, the all, all the supports are, are um, just garden hose, garden hose, bamboo canes, cable ties. Jobs are good. So that's another job done and dusted out the way. Um, and I've done have a bit of tidy around the plastic as well. Next job I'm going to get sorted out is to sort the rest of this out in here as well. So I'm going to get quickly get this sorted out, quickly get it brushed out, and then get cracked on and move all my stuff away. Button down the hatches! Bloody Nora! Blowing 45, 50 miles now outside. I've just had a, I've been here for about an hour now trying to sort the tunnel out. And I put some more support braces in. Um, and I'm going to go now next door to go and put the the blue matting down because it's not been pegged down. I didn't realise that, so it's all over the place. So I've just sorted the tunnel out. So I'll put more more support braces in. And I'll sort the rest of it out when it comes, but it's not going anywhere now. Um, and next door, I've just got to sort out that. So I'll be back once I've got that sorted out. As you can see, the wind's blowing an absolute hoolie. So apologies if you can't hear us. Tunnel, it's getting battered all over. So I've put some, put some support in, try and counteract that, so the tunnel's alright now. And I've came down, and this, this section here was pulled up and pushed over, so I've put some more supports in there, and I've pegged some more uh, wooden trees in the ground, just to keep it from, uh, from moving. But also, the garlic here has been knocked down due to the wind, and once it gets bent over, the goodness kind of go in the bulb. Well, I don't think my name is, but I'm just going to pull all these now. I'm going to pull a lot, apart from the elephant garlic at the back. I'm going to leave the elephant garlic until another day. So I'm going to get cut on with this now. That's all the garlic pulled up. So from the start this side, we've got the leftover uh, white fish store. Sorry about the wind, we've got white crystal, the large bulbs that are planted. We've got the white crystal, the smaller bulbs that are being planted. We've got Casablanca and Germidor. So, me and me and brother, I suppose, Jonathan. Oh, all right. <laughs>
I'm going to start cleaning all these off and get them hung up and sorted and ready for it to dry. I've come inside to show you what, uh, how I clean my garlic off. Now I don't use water, it's the same with the potatoes, I don't clean them off with water, I leave the muck on them, the mud on them. All I do is, you can see here, this is a white crystal. I just remove the outer skin. You can see how dirty it is there. Yeah. So if I remove the outer skin, you don't even have to do this, I just like doing it because it makes them nice and clean. I leave the roots on, I leave the stems on as well. That will all become clear later on. So, as you can see there, lovely clean garlic. Nice big bulbs in there as well. So that then gets stuck at the back of the greenhouse on the shelf. You can put them on fences, um, just to hang them up, or you can put them upside down in the sunshine. Um, just to make them dry, and once they're dried, you can braid them. Um, so that's how that's how I clean my garlic off. So as you can imagine, main main Jonathan there. I'm gonna go through all of these and get them all cleaned off now. So we'll show you that once we're getting sorted. That's the garlic all cleaned up. So I had a little experiment going on last year in October. So in the middle here is the white crystal. Now these are the seed, the the, the garlic that I saved from last year. So we've got the larger bulbs there. So they were the larger bulbs that I planted and these were the little smaller bulbs that I, bulbs that I planted because I had the space and I had them spare. So as you can see, the larger bulbs have been fantastic. I mean, just for example, there's a, there, there's a nice big bulb, it's nearly the same size as my hand. They're nice and clean as well since we've just pulled the leaves off. None of these have been touched by a drop of water. Never touched for cleaning, never touched none of them. We just pulled out our leaves out, then it's uh, then they're like they're left like this, like I showed you before. So they're the, they're the larger ones. So there's a large one, and but there's the biggest, there's, there's the biggest smaller one. So it is always worth popping the smaller bulbs in because you can get a good crop from them as well. So that's them. So they're the white crystal. Let's see, there's some nice ones there. The two different varieties I tried this year are Germador. So bearing in mind, I only got three three bulbs like this. So I'm getting three times as many garlic for what I planted. Fantastic, it means I can save some of these for next year as well. So there's some nice garlic in there, nice Germador garlic in there with a purpley tinge. And on this side, I've got Casablanca. So once again, so I've got three bulbs. One, two, three. And there's some more there. So I've tripled me Trouble with garlic there as well, so I'll be keeping some of them for next year as well. But overall, I'm quite pleased with them. I just need to get them hung up to dry. Then in a couple of weeks time, I'll start braiding them. That's 26 dahlias in. If you look at the draw, hopefully they're all the same in different batches. Um, I've put the, the name tags in, what they are. Um, so that's one bed done in anyways. So next job, what I'm gonna do, possibly when I get a chance, um, see when I'm at work, is to put the other dahlias here. They'll be going to the bottom bed down there. So I've got that to do as well, because then I'll have these beds here, which more dahlias will be going into. Uh, once I lift these onions, so once I lift these onions here, yeah, that's another full bed of dahlias to go in. And I've also got next door as well, but as of me, from me and Jonathan today, say bye Jonathan. See ya. I'll take you into the top greenhouse so you can see us. And here is even. That's better. Right, so that's me done uh, for the day. Um, I'll see if I can get down on the weekend or after work in the next couple of days to get some sort of other sort of things sorted out. I've still got lots to be getting on with. I've still got lots to the rest of the tailors and everything to pull out as well. I'll have to knock the uh, onions down because they need to come out next. So, uh, but see what happens in the next coming days. So I'll catch you then. Hello, everybody. 
Sunday. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Um, I've got quite a little surprise, surprise this morning when uh, I've seen the girls. The girls have given me my cards and things like that. And they've also bought us something special which I've managed to keep their mouth shut for a while. In which I was quite surprised and they were very excited to give me it, so I'll reveal it. They've got me own t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they put it all in themselves. They went. There was this. It was Sky's idea, and they've kept it quiet for a while. So I was over the moon when they got us it this morning. So there we go. I've got my own top, and I wear Granddad Dave wants one now after seeing mine. So I'll have to get him one as well. But in the ten minute, I'll show you what's going on in the garden because I'm just heading off. Um, because it's Sunday, I've got to pull on a Sunday, so I'm heading off there now. So I'll quickly show you what's going on. Nothing much is happening in the greenhouse. Michelle Tomorrow needs to be moved from there. Um, I've got my Betty Black sitting in here, I still need potting on and I've got the daylights which you need to go outside, ready for potting out outside and them 40 um, the lavender are just sitting there nicely as well so I'll take it outside and I'll show you what's going on Hanger baskets are coming on alright, I mean they look ridiculously bad like but hey, it's a first attempt, I know better for next time um, these Dutch iris are starting to die back now, they've been pretty when I've seen them um, the strawberry plant I got, the strawberry plants I got from Dave. The fruit are starting to come on there now nicely as well. So it's getting some off there. I'll be taking one as off this for it to put next door. Um, across the back there, we've got uh, the sweet peas are coming up nicely as well. As well as um, there's a couple of sweet peas there as well, which I've been taking every now and then. The I took all the garlic out as you know, and I've just watered the elephant garlic at the back that is there. I've pulled up all the string, I've pulled up the string, string these up, the peas up, because they were just starting to hovel over as well. Uh, so I've got my leeks in here as well, and I've got the, the shallots, which will be coming out shortly as well. Um, turn on slowly, we've got, uh, of course, the dahlias are in, they're just getting the water in. I need to get it start get pulling these onions out so I can get this started for the dahlia bed as well. Um, damage, so pretty much the only damage that's been done due to the wind is this bit here which I'll have to sort out going into the tunnel here I've got to brace this up because of the wind um, I need to pull the, the skin tight at the back because that's busy blowing around um, I need to just sort the rest of this out and get it more secure um, so in here everything's coming along canny I need to drop the buttons on some of these leaks um, so yeah so I've got these leaks here as well I've, like I say, I'm not spraying them or anything like that. They'll sit in there and they'll stay in there. I've noticed as well though that um, though this used to be a potato bed, and I can see that some potatoes are starting to come up to the bottom, so I've been pulling them out as I've as I've been coming along there. So these have been getting a soak with a soaker hose. And just uh, just well, there's a second I'll get past this beam. So all the onions are in, as you have seen as well. They've started to put they've put a bit of beef on since so that day, like I'm gonna measure. I'm going to measure this one and measure the other one at the minute. So let's see if I can do this one handed. Just to see where we're sitting at the minute. Oh, I'm going to have to put these down. This one's put nearly an inch on this week since I measured it uh, last week. That's, that, that's nuts. I thought they looked a bit bigger. And let's see what this one's measuring at. So I'll just. This was 11 inches, I think. So, about there's a second again. So, that's now measuring just below 12. So, these are starting to put some beef on now. The other ones are starting to come along canny as well. Since I put the support on. But, eh, we'll see how things go with them. I say, anything's better than nothing. None of them are meant to seed as of yet. So, I'm pleased about that. Um, this side, sorry for spinning these around so quick. So, I have messed up in some of these. As you can see, these are Yorkshire Giants, the big ones. These little ones here, they must be Cumbrian or SAX, S, CSX leak. They'll have them, uh, mixed up some along the lines. So, I'm sure yeah, that's a CSX leak as well. And them two must be Cumbrian at the back. Or oh, CSX, one of the two. But I've got a couple of the giants here which need sorting out. I like to drop the buttons on them, straighten them up and things. So, I'm going to take this outside and we'll see what else has been happening outside and down to the tomorrows. Lettuce is blooming. Blooming marvellous. I've just been taking that off and taking it home when I've getting a chance. Um, this, these uh, sweet peas are, are lovely as well. Got loads, got loads of to take off for flower. Um, just coming down the back here, we'll see if there's anything on these uh, beetroot. So I'll put these beetroot in. There doesn't look to be nothing on here yet. No roots and no uh, bulbs on the root. Oh, there is. There's little ones there. So it'll not be too long and they're sorted out. So. 
Have a quick look under here as well. Keel. Keel's coming on. As you can see there. And I'll just bring you back down. The broccoli in the middle there and the swede at the back there is coming on Callie and I've got the little broccoli at the back as well, that's coming up. The um, jump piece croissants are nice sitting there nicely, just ticking along. I'm keeping them two up. When I say two up, I mean there's only going to be two flower stems coming up on them. More kale in here as well. A bit difficult to show you, so we've got kale here, it's looking good. And the cauliflowers are starting to pick up as well. Not much sign of damage on them, which I'm pleased about. Um, I need to get this lifted up as well because the Sweden here is thriving and there's some other cabbages at the back there. But I'll show you them next week. Uh, in here, all the garlic is sitting here nicely. So all that's just sitting there, I've given some away already. Um, at the back there's some spare cauliflowers and things which I need to get sorted out. Um, I've got me chilies, sweet peppers, um, out the uh, Quig tomatoes sitting there and some more spare sprouts and things and I've got the bush chrysanthemums still sitting here which I need to nip out the tops of but I'll do that tomorrow morning outside onions, second order Japanese onions coming along can he? Um, I'll not show you next door today, I'll show you that next week there's nothing much happening over there I've got spuds in here which haven't showed up, the main crop potatoes so these are the second earlies you can see they're thriving compared to the first earlies Disappointed with them first early, so I'll be growing them again. Um, so yeah, they're coming along. Can you no flowers on them as of yet? But still time. In the backyard dahlias. Had a bit of a tidy up back here when I put the dahlias in. I need to do a bit of hoeing around here. Um, but they're they're coming along. They're coming along as well. Rhubarb at the back, little rhubarb. I'm not really fussed about that because I've got tons next door. All of the um see my squeeze past here. All of the raspberry canes are starting to develop fruit. So nice to get some fruit off these this year because the birds got it all last year. With them being so this, this is all new growth, so I'm pleased about them. Sweet corn. Little tip with the sweet corn, I've spotted one on here. So so sweet corn you could also get suckers on. So there's a there's a prime example. So these here, you don't want these on, so just pull them off each side. These are incredible sweet corn. So there's another one. That's not one there, it's fine. So if you do see any, just pull them off. Um, so yeah, they're, they're all coming along, can he? They've jumped up a bit since I put them in. Parsnips are flying. So you can see which ones are the ones I made at first. Um, the lilies are nearly ready to bloom. I'll be taking these off before the bloom. So I can take them home. I may take some home and leave some here. We'll see what happens. Carrots, the ones I transplanted are growing sort of alright. Uh, these ones are growing fine as well, so are the second second pack that I put in there as well. So they're coming on kind of. I still have some uh, some gooseberry bush. Oh, this. Aha! First spot of caterpillar. So the caterpillars are munching on my gooseberry bush. So that's going to get sorted out tomorrow morning. I'll just knock all of these off, squeeze them all. Um, I knock all of these off uh, now uh, as you can see I've got gooseberries on here so I'm going to get that sorted out tomorrow I must get the flowers in and as I've been here as you can see I've got the tomatoes so tomatoes have jumped up I need to go through here and I need to sort out all the little suckers just need to remove all the suckers somebody mentioned is getting kale down to show you how to do it <laughs> after his little video stint the other day um, I can't do that that's near bother but all these tomatoes need sorted so they want the first truss and some, a lot of them when I say first truss, I mean first lot of flower stem. So this bit here, as you can see, that's a, that's a truss there, because that's one truss. If you see two flowers, flowers um, higher up, that's two trusses. And what I do is I do follow Dave uh, from Dave's Allotments uh, for, for feeding. So if we've got one truss on once a week, two trusses on twice a week, so on and so forth, till I get about four, four, uh, five trusses, then I'll just nip the tops off. So I do need to come in here tomorrow and spend a bit of time sorting these out because they're still starting to get a bit of air. Still starting to get their suckers on. So I need, to, I need to go through them all and get all the suckers removed off them as well. You can plant these suckers into pots and then you create new tomatoes. 
So it's up to yourself if you want to do that. You can do. I'm not going to. I've just spotted there my first ever tomato. There's two of them on there. So there we go. Tomatoes are high. So that one there is Tigerella. And on this side, there's no, there's not very many trusses I can spot on this side. As of yet. But I've got, still got, I've got to sort all of these out. So just going back down the line here. It's starting to get not right height. And then we'll come to the back section where the flowers, the calendula, have bloomed, are blooming at the moment. So it looks like a bit of a wild mess at the moment. But I didn't, re I didn't realise the calendula got that big. I was only expecting them to stay small. Um, so that's a shock for me. Um, these colours are beautiful. That orange is gorgeous. It's always the yellow. It's beautiful. Um, there's one that's sort of fully open as well. Look at that. It's gorgeous, that. Um, underneath the tomato here, you can see the marigolds. There was no damage on these tomatoes from what I see at the moment. But actually, I do need to come in here and I do need to nip some of these back. So, time will tell. There's the first truss on there. So, I need to take them out and see what happens with regards to these. There's the top there, so I need to let that go. So, there, the tomatoes are coming along, canny. I've got the ones in the buckets. They're all alright. They're, they're starting to come up as well. So there's plenty of tomatoes going on at the minute, but if you, I know they look small at the moment, but if you remember, I planted them halfway down. So these are actually twice the height. So these should be all the way down at the bottom. So if you think of them, they're about the size of my forearm at the minute. They're actually the, the size of two forearms because I've planted them deep. But they're thriving at the minute. They are, they're thriving, so are the flowers. I'm very pleased with that. Grapevine at the back there, that's starting to come on leaps and bounds. I kind of get them at the moment to uh, sort these tomatoes out. So that's coming on. I have not spotted any grapes on that yet, but I'll, uh, I'll update you next week with when, when it comes to it. But yeah, that's everything at the moment. Apologies, it's been very quick. Oh, one more thing I'll show you as well. I've just spotted it. Is I've got a, a rogue radish in here. Now I know that's a radish. I believe it is, anyways. It looks like a radish. Um, these are the black currants that I got off Macas. As you can see, they're starting to develop little black currants on there. So I've got my first ever black currants on the plot. So I'm very happy with them. So we'll see what they come out like next year. But yep, yeah, that's it. That's me done and dusted.